Should we go to the toilet? Should we take you to the toilet? Come on then. There you go. Oh, have you just been to the toilet? Have you just been to the toilet? Well done. Well done. There you go. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I look like I've just woken up because I have just woken up. It's currently 8 a.m. It is Saturday morning and I thought I would film a little kind of routine that I have with Chica. I don't know what I'm gonna call this video yet. Basically a day in the life with a puppy. I thought I would just talk to you a bit about his routine. I've obviously only filmed like one video with him since I've had him and it's been three weeks now. So I thought I would film this video just to talk through some little things with him and just kind of do like a vlog with him. So yeah, the first thing I do when I wake up is come down, get him out of his crate, take him straight outside and he'll always go to the toilet pretty much straight away in the garden. And then I bring him in and I give him his breakfast and his breakfast is actually Millie's wolf heart, but I have to mix it in with water. So I normally like prepare it the morning, the night before. So I put water in and it's softer for him because obviously he's so little, he struggles to chew. You just had all your breakfast. Good boy, good boy. And now he always wants to play because he has so much energy in the morning. Unlike me. What are you doing? Gosh, this camera does not want to focus on you. Yeah, I couldn't finish what I was saying in the kitchen because he finishes his breakfast very, very quickly and then he wants all of my attention because he is just a little baby, aren't you? You're basically like a newborn. I don't know if you can tell, but he is teething quite badly at the moment. He is going to be 14 weeks on Tuesday, so that's obviously like prime time for teething and I feel really bad for him because I can tell that, you know, it can be quite bad at times he just always wants to chew on something don't you he's really good to be honest like he doesn't really chew on much in the house like he'll chew on shoes he'll chew on this carpet or rug he absolutely loves because it's fluffy in the morning all he wants to do is play and bite me so that's wonderful he loves chewing on shoes the rug clothes but because he's so small and his teeth i'm not joking are like that big he doesn't actually chew through anything so it's absolutely fine hasn't broken anything the only thing he can chew is like paper which isn't really that much of an issue chico are you excited to star in a video today oh he's now found something else to chew honestly he chews anything he'll chew his own paws if he has to he does have teething toys but i mean they're like babies like give them a cardboard box and they'll be happier than an actual expensive toy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you do subscribe if you are new and you want to see more puppy content. For anyone that hasn't watched my first video, he is a chihuahua. He is currently 13 weeks old, going to be 14 weeks on Tuesday. And I've only had him for three weeks tomorrow, so still pretty new. He's just a little puppy. He currently weighs 800 grams, so he is tiny. I don't even feel like you can tell in videos and pictures, but he is a very small little puppy. His ears are bigger than his head. But yeah, I absolutely love him. He's literally like my child. I will say that having a puppy has made me get up a lot earlier in the mornings. Like it's currently 8 a.m. and it's a Saturday. And normally on a Saturday, I won't get up until like 10 a.m. So we're doing pretty good. I put him in his crate last night at 3am because I have this really bad routine at the moment where I'll fall asleep with him in my bed. And last night we fell asleep at literally like 10pm and then woke up at 3am. And he was still just cuddled next to me. Honestly, he loves being under the duvet. But yeah, I've been doing that every single night. Like I've been falling asleep with him and then waking up in the middle of the night and putting him downstairs. But I guess it's better for him because I then let him out to the toilet at like 2 a.m., which is probably why he's not having accidents in the crate. I also don't give him food past 5 p.m. And I try and avoid giving him water past like 8 p.m. as well. Obviously, if he needs it, he can have it, but he doesn't really drink that much water, to be honest. But yeah, the house is also currently a tip, so today's task is to do a full deep clean, which is difficult when you have a puppy because he, if you're up, he is up and awake but if you're just like sat on the sofa he'll happily just sit here with you and chill but if you're up he just he wants to play all the time but yeah anyway i'll take him out to the toilet in about 15 minutes and then probably make myself a cup of tea or a coffee i don't know i'll decide should we get a close-up of this little face should we get a close-up <gasps> 
Wow, aren't you a little motto? Are you a little motto? Are you a little motto? Oh, you are crazy. Crazy. Oh, I should also say that our routine will change on Tuesday because from Tuesday he's allowed to go outside. So he had his vaccinations nearly two weeks ago and I didn't realise that when dogs have their vaccinations they actually can't go outside straight after. They have to stay inside for another, in my case, two weeks, which has been difficult because I feel like he's very restless and I think taking him for a walk would really, really help him, especially in the mornings because he just has so much energy that he wants to get out. So I think he'd really like going for a walk. But I have been trying to do leash training with him, okay? And he is not having it, are you? He is an absolute nightmare on his harness, on his lead. I've honestly tried everything, but I think the best way to do it is probably just taking him outside and when he's in a new area i'm sure he'll like to explore i actually think he'll probably be better off lead but obviously i don't know like it's a bit risky isn't it but i do i think he'll stay with me to be honest like even in the garden he never really goes far from me so i think he'd be fine but i really want to get him trained on the lead um i'm taking him to see my mum's dogs next weekend so i think maybe being around like adult dogs will help him to like learn how to walk on a lead. I've really been trying, bless him. And also all of his harnesses, just so big on him. I had to order him an extra, extra, extra small, which is so cute. I'll actually show you later because I normally put his harness on him for like half an hour a day, just so he gets used to wearing it. So yeah, I'll show you that later because it is so cute. But yeah, anyway, go chill now. Just put him back in the garden to hopefully blow off some steam because he is, I don't even know if you can see him. There he is. In terms of house training, actually, he's so good. Like, he will go straight away if he needs it, if you put him in the garden. The only thing he doesn't do at the moment is ask to go out. So I normally take him out, like, every hour anyway. Um, I take him out after naps, after he's been playing, after he's eaten. But obviously, you can't always tell when they need to go outside. So... It is quite difficult. I think that's just going to be something he learns as he gets older, that he has to, like, wait at the back door to go out. I mean, he knows to go when he's in the garden. Like, as soon as I brought him home, it was like he already knew that. I don't know if dogs have, like, an instinct, but he instantly went in the garden. And every day since, he's been in the garden. But if I miss the signs that he needs to go out, or if he isn't waiting by the back door, he will have some accidents. So he normally only has, like, one accident a day max. But yesterday was so bad. Like he had so many accidents and I don't know why. Honestly, puppies need to go to the toilet a lot. I don't know if that is something that everyone knows, but they're not like adult dogs that can hold. Like they need to literally go when they need to go. So that's been a bit of a task. But anyway, I'm gonna make myself a coffee. Also, normally I would get up earlier than this on a weekday because obviously I have work. So if I'm working, um, well, if I'm in the office, I'll be up at like 6 a.m. And then if I'm working from home, I'll normally be up at like 7 a.m. So yeah weekends is a little bit later but i never can stay in bed anymore because i just want to get up and see him like it's quite a good incentive to actually get up in the morning also i'm having an issue with him eating everything in the garden at the moment you want to come in come on in. he's only just managed getting in here on his own good boy <laughs> He has to do a double jump. So in terms of his food, I keep his food in here. He's running low. I actually have some more on order, but it's not arrived yet. He only eats 30 grams of food a day at the moment because of his weight. So I literally just measure out. He has three meals, so he normally has one first thing in the morning and then one midday and then one at like 5 p.m. So after he's had his breakfast, I'll just measure out. 10 grams of this just because I split it obviously between the three meals. Oh, that's my coffee. So yeah, this will obviously be his lunch and then I will just mix this with some water. This is a good tip for anyone that has a small dog because obviously that is like a choking hazard for him. So I just mix it with some water. So yeah, I just put that in water and then by, by the time it's like 12 o'clock, one o'clock, this will be really, really soft that when he eats it, it will just like fall apart in his mouth. So yeah, there's a tip for anyone with a toy breed. Chico, hello. You know your name now, don't you? I just got an Amazon parcel, which is lucky I got up very early this morning because it is, well, I mean, it is nearly nine o'clock, 
I don't know if they should deliver parcels that early on the weekend, you know? But yeah, I wanted to show you what I got in my Amazon parcel because this is a lifesaver for pet owners. It is the Dr. Beckham Pet Stain and Odour Remover Life Saver for accidents because you can't just use a stain remover if a dog has an accident in the house. If a dog wheeze in a spot and you just use stain remover, it might not get rid of the odour and they can still smell that and it will make them more likely to go in the house so you need an odour remover so there's like no trace of it because male dogs especially will wee on anything so yeah this has honestly been a lifesaver and i've already gone through a whole bottle what are you doing back in your crate you like it in there don't you do you want to come up okay sit 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 Good boy, well done. I was just gonna say that he is so good in his crate. I feel like crates can be quite controversial. Some people think you shouldn't use them. Some people like swear by them. I personally decided to do it because I just wanted a safe area for him during the night. My house isn't huge. I don't really have anywhere where I can put a playpen. So decided to get a crate and I'm really glad I did because he absolutely loves it. Like there is no issue with putting him in at night. There's no issues during the night. He cried for the first like four days I'd say. But after that he completely settled down he learned that someone is gonna come back for him in the morning and now he literally sleeps in there i'm pretty sure like all night like i never really hear a sound from him and whenever i wake him up in the morning he's normally like just waking up like just like stretching so yeah he loves it and then i always leave it open for him during the day so if he wants to go in there he can but yeah personally for me the crate has been working out really really well he has an extra small crate because obviously he has an extra small dog and yeah he's got a vet bed in there he has a blanket i put some toys in with him i've also got a puppy pad in there which a lot of people say you shouldn't do because it encourages them to go during the night but he doesn't actually use puppy pads like he's never used them he, he doesn't like them so i just put it in there as a precaution really but he hardly ever goes during the night he's honestly really 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 easy like it's only been three weeks and i feel like we're already in a really good routine and all of his training is coming along really well apart from the leash training <sighs> let's not even talk about that so yeah this is normally the time about half an hour after he's had his breakfast when he will nap because puppies nap a lot but when i first got chica i remember i was googling is this normal because he was literally sleeping for like 20 hours a day but it is completely normal because obviously they're babies like they're still growing and then when it gets to like 7 30 p.m he is zonked out like you will not get him up until 7 a.m you you do not want to settle down this morning do you i need to wipe under your eyes actually i have to do that every morning as well look how beautiful his eye color is like can we just appreciate that they should stay like that now as well, like that That should be his full adult colour. He is, if anyone has any tips to deal with this teething stage, ow, please let me know. I know he doesn't mean to hurt me, but sometimes when he's playing, he can get a little bit aggressive with his biting, which I do think is just what puppies do. Um, oh my goodness, whoa. <laughs> Come on, no no stop goodness me goodness me you're crazy are you crazy are you crazy yeah you are you having a nice sleep <laughs> he's honestly so cute i can't you relaxing oh sleepy you sleepy do you want to come upstairs so i can have a shower do you want to come upstairs you want to come upstairs? <laughs> Normally if I'm leaving him when I'm having a shower or something, um, he'll be fine on his own, but uh, I try not to leave him for too long. Just because I don't want you to chew anything. Yeah. Are you relaxing? Oh my god, I can't. He honestly has such a bold personality, like, just everything about him, like, he's like a little human. He's just the cutest. You want to come upstairs so I can have a shower? You want to come upstairs? You can sleep on my bed. Do you want to do that? Oh, and we're back with the teething. Oh! <laughs> Sleepy boy. Sleepy boy. Oh! He 
it is difficult vlogging with a puppy. So I've done my makeup. Just thought I'd do something a little bit natural. I actually wasn't gonna put any on. And then I had a shower and I looked in the mirror and I was like, you need some makeup. So I put a little bit on. Um, also my hair is in plaits because I'm trying to use less heat on it. So I thought I'd try and give myself some waves. These are the worst French plaits you've ever seen in your life. Like they probably can't even class as a French plait. This little one has just woken up from a nap. It's currently 12 o'clock. So he's actually due his lunch. But I'm going to put him outside first. Do you want to go outside to the toilet? Do you want to go to the toilet? Oh, he's so sleepy still. So yeah, I'll put him outside to the toilet. And while he's out there, I'm going to attempt to clean this kitchen. The whole house needs a deep clean. And that is what I'm going to do today. Which is really fun. A really fun Saturday. Isn't it? Wish you could help me. I wish you could help me. You want to be my little helper? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Hmm? What do you want to do? Love you. Are you wide awake again? Are you wide awake again? Hello? Shall we throw you a toy? Shall we throw you a toy? You want this one? Ready? Go again! Okay, so I'm gonna take this moment <laughs> while he's running around playing to show you something so cool that I was sent. So if you watched my video, I think it was like a couple of months ago now, I went to the opticians because I was having really, really, really bad headaches and it turned out that my prescription had changed a lot. I didn't expect it to, but yeah, my eyesight's gotten a little bit worse. Um, I don't need to wear glasses all the time, but my eyesight is definitely just not what it was. I've got one pair of glasses in my new prescription, but <laughs> he really wants to come up. <laughs> Can I speak to them for one second without you? Yeah, I only have one pair of prescription glasses now, which to be honest, isn't really enough for me because I like to wear different glasses. I also like to have spares just in case anything happened and for the car and just to like keep in like my work bag, things like that. So I was very, very kindly sent a pair of prescription glasses by Koala Eye. Their glasses are extremely affordable. I think that it's so important to make prescription glasses affordable because they are a necessity. Like it kind of blows my mind that some places charge like 70 pound for them. So yes, I was sent some beautiful prescription glasses by koala eye so this is the box that they came in okay 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 you want to come up okay we get it you want to look at my prescription glasses with me okay every time i have something he wants it it's like he's a child this isn't for you okay you can have the cardboard box after but it's not for you so the packaging of these glasses are absolutely beautiful and then they come in this little bag inside and it also has a cleaner in there as well. Da, 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 da. Okay, so these are the glasses that I picked up. So they have a rose gold frame and then there's some black detail at the back here and it's kind of like a round, it's not completely round. I don't know how to describe this shape, but I, I find that these shapes suit my face quite well. Everything's so much clearer. I can see you properly. HD. Guys, I'm not just saying this, okay? I know that I was sent these, but please just know that I would never ever lie to you. The quality of these lenses is like crazy. Like it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing glasses. It's almost like I'm just like, I don't know. It's like I don't have them on. And I think that that's so important because no one wants glasses where it's like obvious you're wearing them. And also these are anti-reflective. That's like standard with their lenses, which I think is so important. So yeah, these are what the glasses look like on. I absolutely love them. Let me know what you think. So you can actually get your first pair of glasses for $4.99. I'll put the link in the description if you do want to purchase some. And you can also save 50% off all the frames using my code. It's Cali yt i'll put that on screen and also in the description their prices are very affordable anyway so with the 50 percent off i'm gonna be ordering some okay because i actually really really love this brand they were so quick to send them um communication was amazing ordering online was so easy you literally just enter your prescription details on the website and it does it all for you and full price they're 39 dollars. i don't know what that is in pounds probably like 35 pounds but with my code they are only like 17 pound 50 crazy i don't know if you can tell but chico is currently 
yeah, he's uh, he's a bit difficult when I'm trying to do collaborations, aren't you? He makes it very difficult to work, in case you can't tell. But yeah, right now I am going to make myself some lunch. I think I'm going to make some sun-dried tomato eggs. I have this amazing sun-dried tomato paste that I used to make the best pasta the other day oh my god it was a slow cooker pasta and it was i think it's the best thing i've ever made like that is my new go-to recipe like if anyone ever comes around for dinner that's what i'm gonna make i actually have the rest of that for dinner tonight so i am very excited also you need to go out mister because you still haven't gone to the toilet and i just know you need to at some point off you go <laughs> right let me show you the kitchen Right, so this is the kitchen all freshly cleaned. I used this for, I don't know why, I'm literally so boring these days. Like, why am I showing you my cleaning products? But this, highly recommend. Also, my plant has died, which is really sad. So now I just have an empty vase there, so I need to get another one. But cleaned all the sink, cleaned all the size. It all just looks wonderful. So this is my lunch. I've just put some sriracha on which is so funny because i used to hate anything spicy and now i love it um what are you chewing i can hear you oh gosh honestly it is a little bit of a full-time job having a puppy but it's worth it are you gonna let me eat this no no <laughs> you're not gonna let me eat in peace are you ever okay it's nearly like five o'clock i I don't really know where the day's gone. I haven't really done much other than cleaned the house. I've got a wash on at the moment, which you can probably hear. Cleaned the kitchen, cleaned the living room. Need to clean the bathroom, but I think I'll save that for tomorrow. That is like the worst room to clean. Oh, you've just woken up. I literally just got the camera out because he was asleep and now he's woken up. I know I've already said this, but I'm so excited for him to be able to go out on walks because at the moment, I haven't really been going out for like two weeks because obviously he can't come and um oh yes yeah, so i've literally not been like out for walks really for like two weeks which is crazy but um i just didn't really i've taken him out for walks while carrying him but he doesn't really like you like being carried don't you but i feel like he'd rather be on the floor do you want to play <laughs> you are crazy you are crazy <laughs> what have i been doing so it's currently quarter to five i tried to watch the new cinderella film but i'm not really a fan is that controversial i don't know if other people think it's good but i think it's just like all the singing like oh, i don't know like i loved the greatest showman but i'm not really that into musicals anymore unless it's like high school musical you know but in this but i feel like there's like a song in every scene like there's not even a break in between them so i don't know not really a biggest fan i would like to go for a walk this is the issue and this is why i'm so excited for him to finally be able to go out for walks because oh my god he's got my hair get off i feel like it's times like this when he's got so much energy that a walk would really benefit him but i mean we've only got like what three days to wait so i am excited to take him out and I think it's going to be very beneficial for him as well. I think it's going to give him more to do. Oh, I need to tell you a story. Okay, so, right, this is going to be a story time. I took him to the vets two weeks ago for his vaccinations. And I had to go to a certain vet because basically he had his first vaccination with the breeder. And they obviously went to a vet. In wales near them and he had a particular vaccine i can't remember what it's called off the top of my head but he had a vaccine that isn't commonly used in this area i think every area has like different vaccines that are typically used for dogs i don't know why they don't all just do the same one it's very stressful but he had a particular vaccine and when i called to register him at the vets i was trying to find a vet near me that did that particular vaccine but yeah i ended up having to call the manufacturer <laughs> to find a vet that stocked this vaccine because i called genuinely like 20 vets none of them stopped it and i didn't want to restart his vaccinations because he could have done that but he's so small and i just feel like it's a bit mean to do that like he's already had one course i just didn't want to do that and then it would have been like another two weeks on top of that so in the end i called the manufacturer and they were actually really good cost me like two pound a minute 
to be on the phone to them but the lady was so lovely she kept on talking to me about Chico she's like oh my god what breed is he and I was like listen I'd love to talk to you but this call was already cost me about £10 I didn't actually say that but like I was just in my head I was like oh my god this is gonna cost me a fortune but yeah I found a bet which actually was only like 15 minutes away from me so it worked out perfectly so I took him to the vet and I wasn't able to go in with him because of covid so I basically had to call them when I got to the vet and tell them that we were outside and they came and collected him from the car which I didn't like anyway because you know I didn't want like it was his first time at the vet with me I didn't want to just like abandon him and I don't know he was really nervous he was shaking he was anxious and I just felt mean leaving him but I didn't really have an option because I had to use this vet because they had the vaccine that he needed so anyway gave him to them they did the vaccine and then the someone came outside and they came to the car window and she was like oh the vet wants to talk to you so I had to like go around the building and speak to them through a window very extreme given the fact that all social distance and restrictions have been lifted. I'm very confused by the fact that all restrictions are lifted, but there's still so many restrictions. Like that makes no sense to me. Oh, are you finally resting now? Thank God. So yeah, I went around to speak to the vet and she, she opened the window and she was terrifying. Like she kind of reminded me of like a really scary teacher. And she basically said to me that they did a health check while he was there and they said that his skull hadn't um, formed properly so he had a soft spot on top of his head which is what babies are born with at the back of their head so essentially his skull um, wasn't like together he had like a he has a little hole on his head where the skull hasn't formed yet and in most breeds by this age their skull should be formed and if it's not it's an issue so at the time she told me this I was like panicking and I was like what does this mean because Molly May's dog died from that condition of the skull not being um formed properly and i think other reasons as well but that was one of the reasons she said and that was all i was thinking when she first said it i was like oh my god this is literally what happened to molly may and then she said to me that i had to bring him back every two weeks for a consultation to see if it had formed and that is like i don't know if anyone has a pet but a consultation is like 60 pound minimum um so that would have been £60 every two weeks. And she said that if it didn't form, he would have to be referred to a neurological specialist because it can lead to seizures. It can lead to just like all these really scary things. So I left the vet absolutely hysterical. Her delivery was not all that great. She was... Ugh, yeah she was a bit rude to me to be honest i don't know if it's because of my age she probably thought i was younger than i was because i had no makeup on and when i have no makeup on i literally look like i'm still a teenager but yeah just like her delivery of it just like everything about it it just wasn't she wasn't very um sympathetic shall we say so anyway i left the vet with chico in my arms hysterically crying like i can't actually explain to you how much i was crying i was driving home like tears streaming down i was driving down this tiny little lane because it's in this random like little village in country roads and i was driving through this lane and i had to pull over to let someone pass and i was just like streaming crying and i think all the cars were a bit concerned about me so yeah i basically was going home thinking my dog was going to die to be honest with you like that is essentially what i felt like she was telling me and anyway i got home and of course the first thing i did was did my own research and i looked into it and it's very very common knowledge that chihuahuas have a soft spot on top of their head it's actually a breed standard in some countries a lot of chihuahuas have a soft spot on their head because of how small they are and just because of the shape of their head so for chihuahuas it can take up to like three years for it to fully close so obviously i mean it's a difficult one because you know this particular vet obviously probably doesn't deal with smaller dogs i'm guessing they're quite a small clinic so i think that they maybe haven't seen many chihuahuas i don't think they have many dogs going there to be honest so i don't know if she just didn't know this about chihuahuas but chihuahuas actually have their own name for it because it's that common it's called a malaria and it's like not something to worry about too much because 
you know it, it will eventually close and even if it doesn't it doesn't actually mean terrible things for their breed obviously if it was the case in any other breed it's like a really really serious thing but with chihuahuas it's so common that it's not seen as a serious thing and eventually it should close and obviously i'm keeping an eye on it and i, I can feel where it is so i can tell myself if it's closed or not i just i'm so glad i did my own research i spoke to specialists i spoke to experts everyone said to me do not worry because this is normal for two hours the vet probably just maybe hasn't like you know done individual research into two hours like they're not a, they're not a two hour expert and also her information would have been correct if it was for like i don't know a labrador or something so yeah that was a huge relief because that was like really really scary and i have actually registered i mean that's not the vet i'd go to anyway there's one that's literally like a five minute walk from me so i think i'll go to them for any future issues but yeah i don't know i just felt a little bit belittled i want to say i felt like she was accusing me of getting a small dog like i felt like she was saying why did you get such a small breed but he's a chihuahua like chihuahuas are the smallest breed he's not bred to be a toy chihuahua do you know what i mean like he was just the smallest in his litter so yeah that whole situation <laughs> was such a drama but luckily it's all fine now the only thing that we do have to be careful of is him bumping his head because obviously um part of his skull is exposed or part of his brain i don't know part, something's exposed and it can basically lead to a condition where fluid gets in and in that case that could cause seizures and things like that oh my god my washing machine so yeah it's obviously something that you have to keep an eye on but it's not something that he needs to be referred to a specialist for at the moment he would only need that if um he did get the other condition where fluid actually entered his brain he is very healthy he is very happy honestly i'm so glad i have my little two hour support group on facebook because I, they literally put my mind at ease so much like imagine coming home thinking your dog's gonna die like that is just traumatizing but yeah he's all good thank god but yeah i just thought i'd share that story time with you in case anyone's thinking of getting a chihuahua because i had no idea that that was something to do with the breed i didn't really i didn't look into the health conditions to be honest which might be silly of me but um i just think like you know if a dog's gonna get a health condition they're gonna get a health condition a lot of people said that they thought the vet was trying to get more money out of me because obviously if i had to go back there every two weeks for consultations that is like 120 pound a month i mean i would have paid anything to be honest with you if he needed it but um i don't and luckily i have pet insurance as well if anything did happen like that i feel confident that he's all good one of the nurses said to me she was like oh did you make sure that you saw his brothers and sisters i felt like they were acting like i was some really irresponsible person that's just got a puppy from like a puppy farm or something like no he's casey registered i met the mum i have pictures and videos of the dad i met all of his siblings yeah i just felt like they were almost acting like i don't know like they didn't even know me i don't know why i gave off that impression i don't know i mean i guess a lot of people have been getting puppies in lockdown and a lot of people maybe haven't been responsibly breeding and things like that but you know as long as i know that i've taken the precautions and i know that i'm very happy with where he's come from i will tell you it is difficult to manage a camera whilst having a puppy right i've had my dinner little chico is very sleepy so the time is nearly half seven so this is the time when he just gets really really tired bless him and he could literally sleep are you, are you asleep now no he could literally sleep from now until like 8 a.m easily i'll normally like watch a film or watch a tv show or do something i've started watching riverdale again which mm, i don't know i don't know you want me to put you down so you can sleep? You need to go to the toilet. Oh, we've had one accident in the house. Only one today though, so it's not it's not too bad. Although it was straight after I let you outside. Why'd you do that? Oh my god, he's so sleepy. Honestly, it's like having a little baby. He's just so cute. But yeah, I'm gonna let him outside. And then normally we'll go upstairs into like the bed because he loves sleeping in there. I actually have quite a busy day tomorrow, so it'll be nice to just chill tonight. He's so sleepy. Oh my god, I love him so much. 
March. Honestly, he is the best thing to happen in 2021. Like, he has already just improved my mood so much. I feel like he's made me... I don't even know how to explain it. Like, he's just given me more of a purpose <laughs> to exist. Like, before I was like, what even is my purpose? Like, I was really deep in it. I was like, what is my purpose in life? and i don't know if anyone else ever thinks that but since having chico my purpose is to look after him and it means that i have a routine it gives me a reason to get up in the morning it gives me a reason to get ready for the day and when he starts being able to go for walks it will also give me a reason to go outside and get some exercise thank you so much for watching please let me know if you want more videos like this or i don't know any puppy videos just let me know in the description or the description the comments i'm so tired i don't even know what i'm saying ow but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye guys chico do you want to say bye you want to say bye you just want to play with the camera cord okay well that's wonderful i'll say bye for you then say bye bye Okay, bye. <laughs> no, no. Okay, okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, wow.